Hi, and welcome to Little Bits HQ. My name is Crystal, and I'll introduce you to the Little Bits base kit that's part of our exploration series. When you open the box, you'll first find this booklet. It tells you all about the bits, modules, projects, and other resources. Little Bits come in different colors. The modules are grouped into four different categories. Little Bits snap together with magnets. The magnets are always right, and you can't snap the modules the wrong way. The first module you see there is power. All power modules are blue. This module connects to a 9 volt battery to supply electricity to your little bit circuit. It's connected to a bright LED, a small module with a lot of bright white light. The bright LED is a green output module. All green output modules do something. They light up, they buzz, they move. You can place a pink input module before your green module to control them. Push the button to turn it on and release it to turn it off. The light sensor measures how much light is shining on it. In light mode, the more light that shines on it, the higher the signal it sends out. Or in dark mode, it's just the opposite. The signal increases, the darker it gets. You can adjust the sensitivity using the purple screwdriver. The light sensor is attached to a bar graph, which has five LEDs in different colors that light up to show you how much signal the module is receiving. The dimmer lets you control your creations with the simple turn of a knob. Turn it clockwise to send more signal to your outputs. Now try your dimmer with the buzzer. This module sound makes a noise that you just can't ignore. The DC motor rotates a D-shaft when you send it an on signal. You can change the direction of rotation with the left-right switch. To make it easier to attach materials to your motor, we've included the motor mate, and we'll show you how to use that later. The wire is orange and allows you to physically separate your modules. All orange modules help you expand your reach or change direction. So those are all the modules in the base kit. Now let's take those modules and combine them with household materials and see what happens. The first tip is about the DC motor. There's so many great materials that you'll want to attach to the DC motor and the best way to do that is using the motor mate. You'll see that the DC motor has a D shaft on it um, go ahead and slip the motor mate onto the D-shaft and just slide it in as far as you can. If you look closely at the motor mate, you'll notice that there's a hole there with some ridges. That's for you to attach materials to. The best thing is that you can attach a Lego axle right into the motor mate so you can seamlessly build into your Lego sets and make things spin. There's so many great projects you can make with the base kit. One of my favorites that's in the booklet is called the morning alarm clock. All you need is a power, a light sensor, a bar graph, and a buzzer. The way this one works is you have to set the light sensor to light mode. So as the sun fills your room when you're sleeping, the bar graph lights will turn on to wake you up and the loving buzzer sound will also turn on to wake you up so you'll never be late. After you've checked out all the great projects in the base kit booklet, be sure to go online for more inspirational ideas, like this handy flashlight or this moving puppet master. Now go make something.